Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful, is it late summer or early fall day here somewhere deep in the Finger Lakes of upstate New York in my new little primitive bivouac for the end times here on this gorgeous Tuesday morning. September 10th, 2019, and I'm waiting for my goddamn computer to do its little Windows 10 updates to further, you know, figure out ways to spam me, which is the goal of Windows 10 is to figure out the, the amount of spam that uh, has gone up exponentially in my life since I was forced into going from Windows 7 to Windows 10. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to sit here and wing this rant, <clears throat> which is not about Windows 10, <clears throat> although it certainly could turn into one. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've been in the position that I am now, that knowing what you're getting ready to say and do it is only going to bring more trouble into your life. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and, and, <clears throat> and go ahead and, and get this off my chest. I don't know where this rambling rant is going while uh, this computer spins around. So what has happened in my life recently? Uh, not once, not twice, but three times. Three times in probably, how recently has this happened? Certainly within the last month. Uh, it's just that what happened yesterday was the third time, I think, I don't, I'm not sure it's been three weeks where uh, a, a person who I consider A, a personal good friend of mine, and B, you, you know, one of my lieutenants down here in the Doomosphere. Uh, this has now happened three times where a, one of my own lieutenants uh, down here in the Doomosphere has, uh, and I'm not going in, into any detail with this, I, I, I'm going to stick to generalities, but what they have done is they have come up with statements about various subjects here in the Doomosphere, about uh, subjects and people that I talk about or people that I don't talk about uh, here in the Doomosphere that they know that their opinions are diametrically opposed to mine. That, that what they're trying to get across to me is, you know, and, and I, I encourage debate here in the Doomosphere, so they are, for whatever reason, uh, disagreeing with me on some certain points that I have made, not only recently, but ever since I've been down in the Doomosphere, that I, that I dedicate my entire life here to speaking my version of the truth. Okay, I look at the facts on the table. Uh, I, I try to weigh in, you, you know, logic, scientific evidence, source credibility, a very important thing. I have no idea what this scary looking thing on my computer is saying now. What in the fuck? Anyway, I, I don't know what's going on uh, with this computer today. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, you know, guys, I do what I do. I, I mean, I, I do what I do down here in the Doomosphere to investigate what I consider to be aspects of the single biggest story unfolding on planet Earth some aspects of which are obviously bigger than others, and present what 
I think is, is well, obviously it's my version of the truth with a capital T. I am not uh, saying that anybody out there, including my uh, personal friends and lieutenants here in the Doomosphere, have to agree with uh, every, every word I say. Uh, and there, and anybody is certainly welcome to uh, disagree with me as long as you know, as long as all of these these men are at least so far, you, you know, keeping the uh, keeping our debate a friendly and respectful one. Uh, as long as we can do that, uh, I I have no problem with it. But I, I, I just have to admit I am a little shocked that how, how the, these three obviously uh, very intelligent people looking, they have the same body of evidence in front of them that I have in front of me. Okay, and, and we generally agree or have agreed uh, on so many other points how th that three people who I, whose intelligence and opinions I totally value and respect can look at the same body of evidence that is available to me uh, you know, with the with my no shit Sherlock button, and they hit the bullshit detected button, or or I guess I could say it vice versa, and you know, and this is just it's just one more reason that we're so fucked, and of course, what it gets down to is you know again, and and I've had rants on this. How important is it to me uh, to get into some pissing match with, with, with one of my good friends over some uh, opinion that, uh, some differing opinion that we have down here on, on, on one particular aspect of the doomosphere, whether it be a, a subject I talk about, a person I talk about or don't talk about, you, you know what I'm saying? How important is, is, is me believing one, defending my belief and getting into a friendly debate uh, which is more important, the defense of that belief or the friendship? And I'm going to choose the friendship. You know, I've had this rant before about how one of my best buddies, you know, one of my, one of my inner sanctum buddies for 15 years, who's a chemtrail wacko, and as long as I was a chemtrail wacko, you understand I am a recovered chemtrail wacko. I now understand they're cap trails. But anyway, so as long as, as, he, as I agreed with him that chemtrails were real, our friendship was rock solid. But, you know, when I, you know, pulled my head out of my ass and came back to this side of the fence and understood uh, that chemtrails are, are not real. Cap trails are very real. Uh, he decided that it was more important, that, that, that his belief in chemtrails was more important than our 15 year old, than our 15 year friendship. So he ended the friendship because anybody who did not agree with him and, you know, the Dane Wigington and Dutch Sense crowd that chemtrails were real is, not, is no friend of his. He will not have friends who do not believe chemtrails are real. Uh, and, and, and I don't want that to happen again with any of these three guys because it makes no fucking difference uh, to, to anything on, uh, about what any, at this fucking point, we're so fucked. It makes no difference 
our little differences on subjects or personalities or, or whatever. And, it, it, and as much as this uh, co completely, uh, co completely, I, I can't even believe I'm saying this, uh, it gets back to the fact that, uh, and, and, and am I actually getting ready to say this, that only love remains uh, in, in the end times. Uh, of, of course now this only love remains frame. Now, now, now that I've said it, I, I do want to say the fact that this only love remains claim is being, you know, bandied about by the single, the single most uh, hateful, spiteful, vengeful, uh, hypocritical hater in the entire Doomosphere uh, does not change the fact. I know what I, I know what he's talking about. Uh, when when this man of, of all the people in the Doomosphere to make the the, the the claim that only love remains, I know what he's talking about. It, it's a cousin of get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And, you know, guys, all we have it, from this point forward is each other. And you would just need to, you know, I, I, I fully admit that Humpty Dumpty tribe is littered with, uh, and, and I'm as guilty as anyone, my God, I, it's no secret about how many of my own lieutenants right here in Humpty Dumpty tribe have been banned from this channel because we've gotten into fights over debt jubilees or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and I'm just getting tired of it. Uh, how these, the, these, just the, these bullshit little issues come up and a, a, a relationship is destroyed because we cannot agree to respectfully disagree. Uh, so it's, it's just one more uh, of the mysteries of, just the mysteries of, uh, of, of how fucked we are, uh, I, I guess. The, the fact that, you know, it, like Donald Trump, um, I mean, how many, how many uh, probably marriages have been destroyed over Donald Trump? Uh, Donald fucking Trump. Uh, and, and I keep harping back because she's used to it by now. Uh, if if you're not aware of it, uh, my, my number one uh, closest friend on the planet, the human being on this planet that I love more than any other person on this planet, the closest thing I have ever had to, to a soulmate voted for Donald Trump. And although she'll never admit it to me, she's going to vote for the motherfucker again. And uh, she still remains my best friend. You know, she is a major chemtrail wacko. Uh, I don't exactly know where she is on Sandy Hook and Pizzagate, although she certainly is not going to deny uh, that she believes somewhat in Sandy Hook and Pizzagate. Uh, you know, she's a big fan of the wall. Uh, I, I could go all, oh yeah, then, then, of, then of course, uh, my, my favorite one that we, we love to joke about is she is not, this is a college educated, a, a very intelligent college educated woman who at one point, she's the one, by the way, guys, who, who got me to be a chemtrail wacko for about three years. It, this was the woman who uh, who uh, rammed my head up my ass about chemtrails uh, for three years before I managed to pull it back out. Uh, but but the, the, I, I think my favorite with her is she is not convinced 
that dinosaurs and humans did not coexist. She is not convinced that humans were not alive and walking around, although she thinks that the humans walking around, you know, sharing the planet with Tyrannosaurus rex, uh, were like 12 to 16 foot tall humans. Uh, so anyway, so she, a few years back, you know, she started sending me videos, mainly, I think, from, the, from this whack job named Michael Tellinger, that she, you know, found these videos on YouTube uh, from this researcher, uh, you know, claiming that humans were around, uh, what was it, 65 million years ago that humans existed on this planet. And now she does tell me, my friend does tell me that Hambone, you're probably right. You're probably right that humans did not exist with dinosaurs, but you don't know. You cannot say that you know that humans did not exist with dinosaurs. And I say, darling, I do know. I know with a capital K. I have the knowledge with a capital K to speak the truth with a capital T that humans did not exist at the same time that dinosaurs do. To suggest otherwise would be a 65 million year margin of error that mammals were about the size of uh, there were the, the, you know, the, the mammals that were alive uh, were some little thing looked kind of like a little shrew or whatever. So I am 100% confident that I know that humans did not exist with dinosaurs. And, but she does not know that. She is leaving the possibility open. And it's, but anyway, but the point I'm making here, guys, is, is that she still remains my best friend because we have managed to uh, laugh about our differences. It's to, it's to keep a sense of humor alive here in the end times. That if, uh, that, that, that if you cannot see the humor in this situation that your best friend believes that humans uh, coexisted with dinosaurs, you're going to be a very lonely, angry, you know, just pissed off, whatever, uh, if you could not sit here to respectfully agree to disagree. And uh, so I guess, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is you know, anybody, whether or not uh, you're one of my uh, lieutenants, whether or not you consider me a personal friend or just, you know, my relationship with you is you're one of my little 7,000 imaginary friends out there in cyberspace. I mean, guys, you're welcome, I guess to send me your little video links, uh, your, your, your links to whatever uh, about something that you have found on the internet, which is what all, all three of these, these men have done uh, with me. They're, they, they've sent me these, you, you, you know, the, these uh, links to various videos, articles, whatever. Uh, to, to, to I, I guess to share their point of view, which is which is totally fine. But if there if there's some if, if anybody out there is suffering some delusion that uh, that that you you take my body of work over the past going on ten years, and and and, and with 
opinions that, that I have shared and, and you think that you're going to uh, just just send me a, 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 a link from something you found on the internet and that you are going to change my my opinion uh, just you know don't just don't count on it now it could happen it could happen you know it happened you know with my best friend when she showed me you know she sent me I guess enough Alex Jones Dane Wigington Dutch sense whoever chemtrail videos there are thousands if not millions now uh, of chemtrail uh, videos, uh, articles, whatever, with intelligent, educated people uh, making the argument that chemtrails are real. And she actually convinced me of this, and part of the way she did it was by, was by overloading my obviously stressed brain in, in, into reading this unadulterated horseshit that, uh, you know, this is all part of, uh, what is that? I think the term is confirmation bias. You know, that this is one more reason why the internet is such a double-edged sword, that anybody out there can pick any subject on the planet, any subject on the planet, have their preconceived notions go out there on YouTube and uh, go out there on YouTube or Google or, or wherever and find plenty of people to defend them. They can find scientists, uh, professors, journalists, you, you know, university trained people who have written entire books. Uh, who are making probably a couple hundred thousand dollars a year spouting unadulterated horseshit. If your goal is to prove that the earth is flat, there are probably thousands of YouTube videos. There's entire organizations on this planet uh, to... Uh, to support your notion that the earth is flat. There are videos, you know, and in, in, in articles that you can find, uh, you know, plenty of them saying that humans, uh, you know, humans existed with uh, dinosaurs. You know, I can go on and on and on with this. But that in no way, shape, or form changes the fact that these, the, these videos, in my opinion, my opinion, are unadulterated horseshit. I mean, you're, you're welcome to keep, uh, you, you know, you can say, guys, you can send me all the fucking videos you want that the moon is made of green cheese. There's probably some of those out there that the fucking earth is flat, that climate change is not real, that uh, Donald Trump uh, is a great guy, uh, on and on and on. Uh, and... I mean, not knock yourself out, but but if you think that 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 you're going to change my opinion that the Earth uh, is round, I, I you you probably have better ways to spend your time and energy than than doing this. Uh, but 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 you know, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to stop you from doing it, uh, and we will just respectfully agree to disagree. And as long as I'm on, as long as I'm sitting here, I think my computer is ready to go again, so I can go over there and figure out my Collapse Chronicles. But I do want to. This is a good a time as any to address uh, the the continuing. 
uh, like going on in the comments section and private emails that I am getting from people about two of our tribes members uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles and these are these two fellows and I'm sure you know who I'm getting ready to say nobody nobody and book hermit why Hambone do you let these two guys continue to pollute your comments page. So I'm just going to make the official comments on Nobody, Nobody, and Book Hermit. We'll start with no, Nobody, Nobody. Now, uh, I, I did think for a while that Nobody, Nobody was Osama number five. Now, Osama, uh, now, now Osama is another perfect example of one of my lieutenants down here in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, Doomosphere, Osama and I do not agree on a hell of a lot of things, okay? But we respect each other, we have affection for each other. Osama number five is, is, is mature enough uh, and is man enough to, uh, to accept the fact that he and Hambone uh, do not agree on a lot of things, yet we both value our friendship more than we do, uh, than, than we do the fact that we don't agree on every aspect of, uh, of the Doomosphere, conspiracy, wacko land, whatever. And I want to thank Osama uh, for being such a fine, uh, being both a gentleman and a scholar, even though we don't agree on everything. And, and I hope that I can, will be able to say this about the, these other three of my lieutenants a year from now. Um, but anyway, nobody, nobody. I have decided is not Osama number five. Osama virulently denies he's nobody, nobody, and I have, I do believe Osama that he is not nobody, nobody. I don't know who nobody, nobody is. He, uh, he who he is, is a master satirist. He. Uh, he likes to use satire and irony to stir up shit. He is a shit stirrer, as I am. I also enjoy using satire and irony to stir up shit. Nobody, nobody is not any sort of religious biblical scholar my guess is that nobody, nobody is in fact a virulent atheist. And if, if there was any lingering doubt where, where he really fucking blew it was when he made the mistake of calling the Book of Revelation, which is the name of the book, Book of Revelation, singular. He, he referred to it as the Book of Revelations plural, and that one S on the word revelation completely blew his cover of acting like he's some sort of Bible-thumping uh, hellfire and brimstone redneck. Now, I am a little confused why Nobody Nobody has banned me from leaving comments on his channel. I will say that Nobody Nobody does not allow me to comment on his channel, yet I allow him to continue to comment on this channel, so maybe I will ban the guy. I'll think about it until he allows me to comment on his channel. Uh, I'm not sure what that chicken shit, that spineless little chicken shit coward is up to with that. But anyway, for the time being, I'm going to let him stay here. And of course, the other guy is Book Hermit. Book Hermit, 
uh, and to somewhat lesser degree anybody who agrees with Book Hermit why I do not, why don't I ban Book Hermit from, uh, from my channels when I ban, when I regularly ban other climate change deniers? Why, why, why does Book Hermit get a pass when other climate change deniers get booted, and this is a sp more true of Collapse Chronicles than uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe, you know, that I really make an effort for the comments uh, page on Collapse Chronicles to have a certain elevated level of intelligence, and so my policy at Collapse Chronicles generally is, uh, to a lesser extent here, is three strikes are out. Uh, the first ignorant climate change denying comment I get, I just erase the comment. The third strike, you're banned. But I let Book Hermit, uh, the reason Hammond is not, or Sam, or more importantly, Sam Mitchell is not banned Book Hermit is number one, he is very, he, he's respectful. Uh, he does not turn his comments into ad hominem mudslinging, uh, attacking me, uh, attacking other commentators on the page. He, and it does a pretty good job of not just making ad hominem attacks on the guests that I interview, that he responds to the content of what I'm saying instead of, so he doesn't make it personal, that he, that he sticks to the subject and not the person. So as long, even though, you know, the, the guy is unbelievably confident and arrogant when he's braying his ignorance about climate change. Uh, the guy is jaw-dropping. But I like confident, arrogant assholes. I am a confident, arrogant a asshole. So I don't have a problem with confident, arrogant assholes as long as they're sticking to the subject and not just making it some little pissing match with an ad hominem attack. That, that's one, that's the main reason. And the other two reasons are, and this will come as some surprise, is that I agree with one of the, uh, a lot of what Book Hermit says about climate change. Okay, the thing that I agree with Book Hermit wholeheartedly on climate change is that climate change now, I'm talking the year 2019, is not the number one killer of this planet at this point in history. Uh, if climate change, I, I think Book Hermit and I are in total agreement with this statement I'm getting ready to make. Book Hermit, if you disagree with this, let me know that if climate change had nothing to do with the equation, okay, if the climate change deniers are 100% correct and that the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere or whatever uh, has nothing to do with anything, uh, assuming they're correct, there are plenty of other more immediate threats today than climate change. There are plenty of other ways to destroy a planet than climate change and global warming. This planet is fucked with or without any contribution from climate change. What climate change is at this point uh, in history is what I call a threat multiplier. 
what it does, it takes all of the other things going down on this planet and exacerbates them. It makes them worse where, you know, I, I use this, the, the, the megafaunal extinction, uh, you know, uh, where the, the noble savages came out here, it came over here, invaded from Asia, and you know, and wiped out all of these, the all of well, everything except pronghorn antelope, killed every one of the large mammals uh, roaming around uh, North America and and South America, uh, and you know, getting into the climate change debate. My guess is that. The, these animals would have survived just the climate change, but they could not survive the one-two punch. That climate change was involved, but they would have survived if humans had not. What killed those megafauna is what's killing every species on this planet. It is humans taking down uh, the planet. Climate change simply is a threat multiplier. It takes every other threat posed by humans and exacerbates it and multiplies it. So right now, imagine, uh, um, imagine we have all of these threats against the planet. What are these nine planetary boundaries are horses in a horse race. Okay, let's say there's nine horses in the Kentucky Derby, all right, and they've left the gate and they're halfway through the race. Right now, climate change is the horse at the back of the pack. It is probably of the nine horses of the apocalypse, it's probably the ninth important one, but it's, it, it's gaining. And by the time the planet collapses, let's say, you know, let's just put the, the, uh, the, the end of the race at 2100, and I'm just pulling that number out of my ass, that climate change by the year 2100 will be what takes the planet down, but my guess is by the time climate change gets strong enough in and of itself to collapse all life on this planet that the other horses in the pack will have already destroyed the planet. With help from climate change. Every year, climate change is going to exacerbate all of the other threats posed by humans. It, it is just one more ingredient of the toxic stew. And uh, this is uh, the, the, the main reason uh, that I let Book Hermit, as long as he plays nice and uh, understands that we are completely fucked, he can go ahead and just continue to bray his, uh, his idiocy over, over uh, whatever uh, he talks about. I don't, I have to admit, I rarely even read one of Book Hermit's uh, comments anymore. He's beginning to sound a lot like uh, that guy, uh, you know, talking about how only love remains in the end times. But since uh, there is some truth to that statement. I am just going to endorse that statement that from here on out, love and friendship uh, trump our individual little disagreements. So my, to my three lieutenants listening to this, 
Uh, you know who you are. Uh, I certainly respect your right to disagree with me on uh, these points that you, you three uh, obviously intelligent gentlemen uh, believe and, and I'm just going to respectfully disagree just like I do with my best friend in the world that humans did not exist with dinosaurs. And anyway, my computer seems to be ready, so I'm going to go over, I'm going to change shirts and uh, come back with the Collapse Chronicles. We're going to go over to the New Yorker magazine. Well, I have to check to make sure that that Kevin and Sandy have not already read this article that about eight of you have sent to me from the New Yorker about hope in the end times as climate change ramps up and takes the planet down about facing the reality of climate change. Coming right up on Collapse Chronicles for those anybody who wants to hear about climate change. If you want to deny climate change, go back over to the Heartland Institute. Call up the Heartland Institute and you can listen to all of the interviews about climate change alarmist that you want to, but this environmental alarmist and chronicler of the collapse of Western civilization is going to go over to Collapse Chronicles and do just that. You're welcome to join me over there. Bye, guys.